Hi everyone, Chef Metal Canyon here. Today I will be showing you a recipe perfect for cold, wintry days. Passed down by my great 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 grandmother, it is a most wonderful goulash recipe. A goulash consists of beef, in the case of beef goulash, and quite a lot of vegetables, as well as a side of potatoes or pasta, as in this case, because I love penne so much. First of all, let's cook our penne. Let's get some water. Lovely. And put our penne in the pot. In, well, in the pot. Lovely. Let's cook that. In the meantime, let's prepare our actual goulash. For the goulash, we will need quite a few ingredients. First of all, some beef. The best thing to do is to cut the beef into little square chunks. Make sure you are using a very sharp knife. And after using and cutting the meat, make sure to thoroughly wash all the surfaces as well as your hands, and preferably disinfect them. Because of course raw meat can have all sorts of diseases. Lovely. Now those are some perfect square chunks. Let's put them into our pot. Excellent. There's a few more. Don't forget that goodness. Now, we will also require some bell peppers. Try to use a variety of colors with the peppers. We will require some onions, which are very tasty, especially in goulash, a little bit of garlic, and a parsley root. Lovely. Now, cut all that into fine pieces. When you're done chopping, put all that into the bowl with the beef. In you go. The red bell, pe bell peppers, the green ones and yellow ones, they will all give color to the goulash. And the garlic will give it an extra kick. Lovely, let's turn that on. Excellent. Don't forget a bit of sour cream. Which will be in the liquids. There it is. Lovely. Now let's check on the penne. It's almost done. Let's get a colander. And if you don't have one, go to your local box and buy one. There we go. Put the colander in there at the ready. Now let's turn off our penne and sieve it carefully. Lovely. Penne is ready. Now as soon as the goulash is done, even though it's not really cooking, there we go, now it's cooking. It will take a little bit of while until your goulash is done. If it's not cooperating, you can always use a blender to help it along. There we go, lovely. Now let it simmer for just under 16 hours, and we'll come back to it. Make sure to stir your goulash every now and then. If you don't have a proper utensil, you can use some tongs, but be careful. Lovely. Now our 
lovely goulash is close to being done. Because it has been some time since we cooked the penne, let us just quickly reheat it in the microwave. Put it on high. Let it heat. Mmm, I love penne. It is such a wonderful thing. Now our goulash will be almost done. What we need is a large bowl. Because people will definitely want to try this. Mmm, I know my great 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 grandma did. Now, when the goulash is done, wait for it. Let us get the penne first. Lovely. Pick up the rest of the penne. Look how steaming and nice that is. They will be crunchy. Put the penne into the bowl carefully. And then let's get a little bit of the goulash. Amazing. Now that looks absolutely delicious, but we're not done yet. Let us garnish our masterpiece with a little bit of parsley. Don't go overboard with that. Absolutely amazing. Now that will be a delicious meal for anyone at any time of the year, but especially in cold winters. Have fun and dig in. Lovely.